And we begin with Karrion Cross, who really has a new lease on life since his return to WWE. Fall and pray are the words of House Cross, and he didn't really get a chance to show what he could do the first time around. He has a lot to prove, and he is all about taking that aggression out on the biggest, meanest guy he can find. If that guy isn't here, he'll settle for whoever's in his way. Maybe he'll be glad I'm over here and not in there. And with Roman Reigns, he constantly talks about his dominance in this division, in this industry, and time and time again, he absolutely backed it up. No matter how you feel about his tactics, you cannot deny that. You don't get this dominant without doing anything you have to do to secure the win, Saxton. The head of the table recognizes that. Up against Roman Reigns, you're perhaps totally aware of the fact that the bloodline is lurking around every corner. Very true, Cole. Just the threat of the bloodline is enough for Roman to get into the head of his opponents. But you can't take your focus off of Roman. If you worry too much about what the bloodline might do, then the tribal chief already has you beat. Reigns had that scouted. using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Look at the power by Reigns. Sit out, crucifix, powerbomb. And he manages to kick out at one. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Could be thinking about a power bomb. Way out there. Wow! Niagara driver. Three. Four. And he tosses it back in now. What's he open to find down there? Four. I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick. Establishing the upper hand. Cross on the wrong side of every exchange. Placing them into the corner. Ooh, man. man. Stomping away, and then the knee right into the throat. Just ruthless. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Reigns doing all he can to keep his seat at the head of the table secure. Carrying cross to the Doomsday Saito. And fall and pray indeed. Emphasis on fall. Carrying cross looking to rebuild his legend one fallen foe at a time. Off to a fine start, I'd say. And he had Carrion's number there. Taking head over heels. Four just raking across the face. timing with that 
reversal. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Bang it back with their own count. Down with a suplex. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Back suplex on the apron. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. He needs to give himself some room to regroup fast. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. The tribal chief locked in Logan. Great. A strong victory. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. The Roman Empire grows as Reigns continues to conquer his opposition.